What's going on, YouTube? This is your neighborhood DraftKings Attic, bringing my top picks for the NBA playoffs main slate for Tuesday, guys. All right, guys, so as you can see on the screen, guys, it's tax day. So get your taxes filed or file an extension. But just know tomorrow's the deadline. All right, so if you have not taken care of that, guys, let's go ahead and get it done. All right, so before I get into my top picks today for DraftKings, guys, let's talk about Draft Dashboard. It's an app that I use to uh, make DFS decisions, all right? There's a link in my description for a seven-day trial for one buck. All right, guys, so what's great about going through the link is that if you go through the link as I watch players, a.k.a. create a player's pool, you can go into your particular screen and click on watch players and go right here and click on watch DK Addicts picks, and it will load up my player pool into your uh, screen so that way you can have the players that I feel or the optimal plays, all right? And once you do that, you can go on here and click on the lineup optimizer and have it build a lineup, guys. So, all right, give it a shout. Draft dashboard, seven bucks. I mean, seven uh, day trial for one buck. All right, guys, so on the screen, you're going to see my, my favorite plays for tomorrow, guys. It's only three-game slate, guys, so you don't have that many places you can go. But there's some high-powered offenses, you know. So, um, as you can see on the screen, but um, I want to go with a balanced lineup, guys. You know, just because, you know, if you play those high dollar players, you got to find some value. And that's going to get tougher as the NBA playoff season goes on, guys, because prices are going to start to uh, normalize or whatever you want to call it. And um, it's going to get tougher. But hey, here's my favorite plays, guys. So, first up, guys, let's go with Big Dame Litter, okay? Damian Litter, guys. So, if you look at the last game, my man went six for 23, guys. <laughs> he was shooting 26% field goal percentage, man. Okay, he had a horrible game, okay, and still put up 43 DraftKings points, guys. So I don't think this is going to be a repeat. I'm thinking Dame's going to get it going. It's going to be 12 of uh, 23 or something like that, all right, you know, for 60 DraftKings points. So I want a piece of that. I got his 9.3K. He's at home in a playoff game. I'm locking that Dame, guys. There's no way he can only have 18 points again, all right? And it wasn't a defense, clearly, because he put up 23 uh, shots, but – all right, let's get it going. And he has zero turnovers, guys. You see that? Efficient player. All right. So, I like Damian Litter. All right. This Brogdon kid, you know, he just came back from injury. And he played 32 minutes in this playoff game, guys. They brought him in easily. At the end of the season, you see, 10, 14, 18 minutes. Then he played 32 minutes in that Boston game now. Um, it was overtime game. All right. Chris Middleton hit an unbelievable shot at the end of the regulation. All right, guys. But you got to go and check it out, man. I, I retweeted on my... Uh, Twitter account, guys, it was an insane damn shot, guys. I'm I'm literally like, he grabbed the ball and tossed it up in like a half a second from damn near half court and went in. But, anywho, Malcolm Brogdon, 4.3K. This guy's going to pay 32 minutes in the game. i like him to put up 25-plus DraftKings points, which is great for value when it comes to a player like that, 4.3K. Now, Otto Porter, guys, just for me, he's just too damn cheap, guys. Come on, 5.4K Otto Porter. Yeah, he's been playing bad the last couple of games, right? 21, 23, 21 since John Wall has returned, right? But he's got to get it going eventually, right? You know, get a couple of rebounds, get a couple of steals or blocks or something, right? But 5.4K just seems too cheap for Otto Porter, in my opinion, guys. Right, if you look at the, the history versus this team, he averages 32 DraftKings points, guys. But I like Otto Porter just for the price, man. He's too damn cheap. I, I got to play him. A guy's going to put up 30. Play 30-plus minutes, all right, in a game. Hey, I, I'm just saying, got to play him. Al Horford, guys, again, as you see last time we played him, guys, he went the hell off, all right, put up 56 draft king points, had a nice double-double, a few blocks, a few steals. So Al Horford is going to be, you know, the general on his team, guys. You know, he got a lot of young players, and he's having to, uh, 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 you know, run the, run, run the team. And so I like Horford. His usage is going to be high. He's going to have a ball in his hand a lot, guys, as you can tell. You know, from the 24 points, he put up uh, quite a few uh, field goals. Uh, he shot a gang of free uh, free throws. All right. So, I like Al Horford, again, to repeat and get you about 45 to 50 draft king points again tomorrow, guys. And then Serge Ibaka, again, this is another play on the on the price. He's 5.6K. All right. I'm just looking for him to put up 30. I don't think he's going to put up 46 again because he got hot behind the three-point line. Three for four, but he had a nice double-double, 23 and 12. So I like 
Ibaka to repeat and get a nice double double and put up at least 36 DraftKings points, which is what you need for a guy that's 5.6K. So I like Ibaka, guys. All right. So that's my top five players, guys. And so just to be honest, I'm probably going to pay up for another high price guard. All right. In the same lineup, I may not get up to Anthony Davis in my lineup. That's just me personally, you know. But hey, you can take a chance with AD. You know, DeRozan had a, had a shit game the last game, too. You know, 17 points, only two rebounds, six assists. A bad shoot tonight again. You know, so maybe like him to bounce back at 7.4K. You throw him in here. All right, that leaves you 5,300 for each position. So you go to your guard. And um, who can you find that's a value guard? All right. So, um, ooh, it's tough, man. See, that's what I'm saying, guys. It's, it's tough when you got when you got to start find, finding that value, guys. But at Util, Utility, I like Henson. Again, he should get big minutes against Boston. Uh, I, I like him to uh, hopefully get double-digit rebounds. He only got six the last game. But anything can happen. But he's going to play big minutes, as you can see, guys. All right, so I like Henson as well. And that leads you 6,100 at the guard, guys. So that gives you some options as well. So, you know, um, but good luck on tomorrow's slate, guys. Again, it's only three games. There you go. You got Jalen Brown. He's in a good spot again. All right, so there you go. You got Jalen Brown. I'm not saying it's a lineup you can run, guys. But, hey, whatever works for you. But um, good luck on tomorrow's slate, guys. You know, let me know how you're doing in the comments, guys. If you got any ideas or you know any uh, some good plays, uh, share with us in the con con uh, comments, guys. But uh, good luck tomorrow, guys. And I'll uh, holler at you on the next video.